Oh My Muffins. Thank you so much for having me over, Princess Celestia. I love what you've done with the place. Darby, are you out of your mind? This is a disaster. Princess Celestia, I'm terrified. I'm afraid I'm going to get lost. <laughs> Bite Spike. Is it true you have a cake room? Is it possible I'm standing on it? Hi! In case you haven't figured it out, I'm reviewing Canterlot Castle! Well, me, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, and Spike! That other voiceover guy will probably chime in towards the end, but right now, I'm the star! Derpy, this isn't even your castle. Yeah? Do you have a point, or are you just talking? I love to talk, and it's even better when ponies actually listen! Princess Celestia, I really liked your castle better before. It was so much easier to get around, and I didn't have to deal with stairs or throne elators. Well, Derpy, every pony's entitled to her own opinion. Let's take a look at the castle. Celestia, I set your bed up just the way you like it. And if you don't like it, I set it up the way I like it. So can I take a nap? Great job, Spike. It's easy access to my scroll and wand. But, you know I prefer cake over cookies. Is this a magic carpet? It's just a rug so that my hooves don't touch the cold floor when I get out of bed. We'll see about that. <laughs> Derpy? Ah! Oh. Uh, it's okay, I landed in the bathroom. Ooh, I really like your perfumes. Your table and brush, too. Uh, well, it doesn't seem like anything's broken. The sink was just knocked over, and the towel rack did survive, surprisingly. Hey, I just realized something really funny. Princess Celestia has a picture of herself on the wall, so it's like she's watching you while you're doing your business in the bathroom. Ah, isn't that hilarious? Oh, only Derpy. Derpy, the door's right here. Please feel free to use it at any time. The doors do open, so it makes it really easy to exit. No, that's all right. Is this a spell book? Is there a spell to make it rain muffins? Probably not in that one, but I do have quite a collection of books in my library. Maybe one of those will have something similar to what you're looking for. Spike, send a letter to Twilight and tell her her self-proclaimed BFF is here at Canterlight Castle and she needs to come get her as soon as possible. You got it, Princess. Princess Celestia, I couldn't find a spell. Let's go upstairs and see if we can find some real muffins. That's actually a lot of stairs. I told you everything was better when it was just in one big huge pile. Well, I see you found the cake room. Oh my muffins, this may be one of the best rooms ever. I can't believe you have a treat table full of cake and cupcakes, and your tea cart and tea set's not bad either. But, I'm not seeing much of the good stuff. Where's the muffins? Ugh. I mean, you have everything else, even a picture of Twilight. Just relax, Derpy. Maybe you should calm yourself by resting by the fireplace. The view from here is quite tranquil as well, and the blue candle flame is very soothing. Celestia, I have a question. Okay, should I be afraid? You know, you're like really tall. Have you ever hit your head on the chandelier? That would be really uncomfortable. How do you even come up with this stuff? I don't know. I read a lot. Usually mail. Hey, I see you have a stained glass window for Princess Luna. And yourself. You should totally get another one representing me. Well, I'm not the only one who lives here. Why don't you go upstairs and discuss this with Luna? Spike! 
Yes, princess, let me just turn this knob. Going up! Oh wow, the view is beautiful up here! It's absolutely stunning! Princess Luna! Hi, Derpy. I'm currently on Night Watch. Did you come to keep me company? Kinda, and to ask you questions, too. What do you think about a stained glass window featuring me? And do you know anything about spells that make it rain muffins? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be much help. The only thing I really have up here is a treasure chest with some of Celestia's hair accessories. They're yours if you like that type of thing. Ugh! Thanks, Luna, but that's just not gonna cut it! Well, there's one other way I can help. Tonight, when you go to sleep, I can enter your dreams and make sure you dream of what you desire. That would be fantastic! Bye! Oh, goodness, it looks like she was too tired to make it home. Poor dear, she's so active, she probably wore herself out. Let's give her a bit of privacy by moving the stairs. <laughs> May she dream of muffins and stained glass windows. Hey, so Derpy and the gang have pretty much already hit the highlights on Canterlight Castle. This playset is part of the Cutie Mart Magic line and is absolutely huge. And I'm really surprised at how well this thing holds together, especially considering how often Twilight's Kingdom falls apart. The castle retails for about 90 bucks and I purchased it on Amazon.com. The price does seem high, but it's really way up in quality when compared to Twilight's Rainbow Kingdom. The set comes with two figures, Celestia and Spike, a ton of accessories, and a three-story structure. And let's just take a moment to appreciate the artwork on the back of the box. It is absolutely amazing! Now, let's just take a look at the castle all together. I know it was probably kind of hard to see when Derpy and friends were running all over the place and going crazy.
As mentioned previously, the only figures included are Princess Celestia and Spike the Dragon. This is actually a really nice Celestia figure, and she does come with her trademark crown and choker. The main difference with this figure is that she has that crimped, frizzy, crazy tinsel stuff in sections of her mane. She also has a zap code for use in the new My Little Pony app and her Sunshine Cutie Mart. Spike is pretty much a re-release of the version that came with Rarity in the Celebration Car Set. And last, and probably least, here's a shot of the back of the playset. It is sprinkled with zap code, so I guess it's not totally a waste, but you know, it is still disappointing. Anyway, that's it for Canner Light Castle. If you enjoyed this review and want to see more, please click subscribe. You can also follow me on social media for behind the scenes, pictures, previews, and other junk. You guys have a good one. Hi, I hope you enjoyed our review of Canterlot Castle. I know Derpy did. Yeah, she's completely out like a light. If you're still watching, put Muffin Dreams in the comments. Bye, guys.